Uh, today we're going to do a tour of our enclosed trailer. This is what we've been living out of for several months now. Uh, this is what we are taking to Wyoming with us. And I did bring it along during the construction of it. So let's go ahead and go through how well it's doing. Uh, first, let's make a real quick stop with the solar system. See how that's charging up. Okay, so we have our fans running right now inside. Our panels are pulling, it says 14.2, 14.1, 14.4 on that one, 14.6 I just saw, 14.8. That's our charge controllers, that's a 400 watt charge controller up top, that's a 200 watt controller on the bottom there. This is our 3000 watt inverter with a 5000 peak. This thing's been working very well, I'm very impressed with this thing. Oh, there's a fire extinguisher. Uh, so we usually keep all of our food and stuff stockpiled up in here. Uh, the bottom section is our battery box. Uh, there is our coffee pot. Yeah, this is a mess, guys. Uh, that's my coffee cup. Imagine that. Um, so yeah, that's the back end of the trailer here. That is what we keep our storage with our food and stuff like that. That is a spotlight I just hung up here in place just for the backyard when we're out here at night I can hit the switch and it'll flood the backyard okay so this is our dual burner propane grill the grates right here the wind's been blowing everything everywhere guys uh, these buckets here are actually our current wash station with us staying at home right now uh, we usually use a laundry f facility but since everything's going on in town and across the country right now we're using buckets to wash out of our clothes and we do have a clothes line uh, yes there is spare gasoline down here these get moved when we use the grill, so don't worry about that. Um, our current ice chest, this is where we keep all of our frozen stuff. We do have a 12 volt and AC conversion refrigerator inside the trailer. As hopefully y'all can see that. That tire is leaning bad. That is that bent spindle. Let me switch out this way, see if you can get a better look at that. See that tire lean? Yep. That is the problem that we had out here, guys, on the way traveling. We apparently bent that spindle or it was already bent. And we did not notice it before. Alright, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at the front this is the front entrance of course we put one of these magnetic screens up to help keep the flies and stuff out because we have to leave this door open during the daytime with our fans because it is just a hot box in this thing hindsight i wish i would have insulated the trailer better or actually put some insulation in because i didn't put in any, any insulation in the roof or the walls all right right quick guys of course we do have our panels for our lights and everything of course there are some new additions plugs a night light because i get scared at night no it's just so we can see and not fall and that's my wife laughing in the background right now this is the vent fan for the bathroom this is the bathroom light switch let's go ahead and check out the bathroom so yes the bathroom is working very well uh, as you notice the tile is removed from this it actually peeled up on us this on the floor is a bondo solution that is mixed and spread to waterproof the floor again which is working actually actually works very well um, our tankless water heater from gasland here is actually still working very well it's just we have no complaints on this thing at all for our shower now that does produce our hot water for our sink and yes our sink does run out through the floor uh, what else we got here oh of course the toilet toilet is still working very well uh, that is our water line for our toilet and then for our shower I will get a system set up in here for the sink 
as far as having a water line for the sink, but we haven't got that far yet. All right, and mirror uh, installation. That is a vent fan for the bathroom. Uh, and of course, LED light, and that is very bright. So let's swing on out. And there's the uh, screen doorway. All right, so right when you come in the doorway though, you've got, well, a whole bunch of cigarettes. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this light switch turned on here. All right, we got a refrigerator and our usual essential stuff that we usually have usually grab during the daytime. Um, this is running off 12 volt. This is also an AC conversion for this to run AC. This is our refrigerator. Works very well. I'm glad we purchased that. That is an igloo. Um, I don't forgot how much we paid for that, but it has been working very well for us. And that is as soon as you walk in through the door, of course the bathroom is right across the way. Uh, swing on out. We've got our entertainment system. That's just our flat, small flat screen speaker system. And there is a DVD player up there. That is a cheap DVD player. Now this sweater up here actually works very well. It holds the DVD player up there so I don't have to build another shelf. Because those things are irritating, especially with well, limited space, it's a pain in the rear end. All right, so yes, we do have to duck down in here, guys. Um, I forgot what the measurement was up here, but as you can see, my head hits, so I have to stoop down a little bit. All right, so we do have a Murphy bed. Uh, we've been tucking our pillows up top here. Of course, there's my wife. She's actually still happy. She hasn't threatened to kill me or anything like that. <laughs> he thinks. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have this hinged on the ground. I don't know if you remember the construction of this. It hinges on the ground and it lifts up against the wall. And then we just lay it down at night when we go to lay down. Uh, I never did come up with a locking system for it. We would just use a rope, just tie it through the frame of the bed. And it stays in position. Now the back wall here, where my wife is at, that is where the food, the inverter, all that stuff is against. The top part we put our usual clothes at. That's not all of our clothes. This is what we usually use on hand. Oh, I didn't ever, yeah, we also have a coffee pot down there. Yeah, pretty great. I like having coffee. So we don't always have to drink instant all the time. All right, so that is the interior. Now we do cook outside, guys, but we also can cook indoors. This is our flip down kitchen. We got a lock here. Release the legs. And this swings down. As long as I don't hit my wife with it. And now we've got our countertop. We do, I think this is a four foot section actually. I think this is a four foot by two foot countertop. Works very well for what we need. We can actually cook on it with our gas grill. Um, we eat off of it and everything else. So yeah, works nice. All right, guys. So that is the tour of our living quarters, our enclosed trailer. It's small. No, that is not a skylight. I thought it was when I purchased it. I thought it was just mildewy or something like that. I had to get in there and clean it. No, they they put a piece of sheet metal over it. Then they caulk the entire top by like a four foot squared section which I didn't climb on top of when I bought the thing. I saw all these screw holes running through. I just caulked those in place because those are actually what they anchored down the uh, sheet metal with. So I guess technically I can pull it out and put a skylight in it. But our solar panels are on top of the roof, so it won't do us any good. But yes, we are still alive. And it's actually not that bad. Living in this tight of a quarter is everything's routine everything we we work together with a routine you can't just lay around in bed all day because that bed takes up all of our walking space when it's laid down uh, so we raise it up we do a lot of stuff outdoors we come inside especially when it's hot outside turn on our fans uh, let me swing the camera around I'll show you guys the little bunny rabbits hey guys so the big brown one here, that's Dante, he is a mini Rex, yeah buddy, and the little black one here, that is Rico, he's a lion head mix 
Heinz 57. He is the old Meng. He's 11. 11 years old. Hey guys, that is the snack sound. That's why they are very excited and seem like they like me right now. Because that is the sound I do when I'm going to get them a snack. So, since I woke up the rabbits, I need to give them a snack. Alright guys, we'll catch y'all later. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've been having a lot of questions how everything was working here. Everything's working very well with the trailer itself. Like I showed y'all, that bent spindle on that passenger side of this trailer, that's what got us stuck. There might be a reason why we're stuck All right, with everything going on in the country right now probably best that we're here all right instead of trying to do everything in Wyoming and getting stuck out there with everything it may have been a good thing um, anyway let me go and feed these rabbits y'all take care